You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on 5 centimeters per second. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Today's anime review, we're going to be reviewing a coming of age romantic drama anime film for today's anime review, 5 centimeters per second. 5 centimeters per second is a 2007 Japanese anime coming of age romantic drama film written and produced directed by Makoto Shinkai finished on January 22nd 2007 the first part streamed on Yahoo Japan to Yahoo premium members from 16 to 19 February 2007 on March 3rd 2007 the full-length film had its theatrical premiere at Cinema Rice in Shibuya, Tokyo. The film consists of three segments, such as Cherry Blossom, Cosmonaut, and 5 centimeters per second. Totaling about an hour of runtime, as in Shinkai's previous works, Tenmon composed the film's soundtrack. The film's ending theme was One More Time, One More Chance by... Masayoshi Yamazaki. The film was awarded for the Best Animated Feature Film at the 2007 Asia Pacific Screen Awards, and most of all, specifically, the DVD was released on July 19th, 2007. Yeah. So let's review. Oh yeah, there's the novelization of five centimeters per second was released in d November 2007 expanding of the film in July 2010 the a the issue of the manga anthology technically afternoon a manga adaptation started serialization and illustrated by Seke Yukiko okay the story is set in Japan beginning in the 1990s up until the present day 2008 which each act centered on a boy named Taki, Takaki Tono. The first act takes place during a time when cell phones were, are uncommon and email had not yet reached the general population. In 1995, Takaki Tono quickly befriends Akari Shinohara when she transfers to his elementary school in Tokyo. They grow closer to each other due to similar interests and attitudes. For instance, they both prefer to stay inside during recess due to their seasonal allergies. As a result, they form a strong bond. They speak to each other using their given names without any form of honorifics, which is a sign of deep friendship and familiar familiarity in Japan. Speaking of which, upon graduating from elementary school, Akari moves to the nearby prefecture of Tochigi. Due to the, her parents' jobs, the two keep in contact by writing letters, but eventually begin to drift apart when Takaki learns that his family will be moving to Kagoshima on the other side of the country. He decides to go to personally go see Akari since they will be too far apart to visit each other after moving he also prepares a letter for akari confessing his feelings for her however takaki loses the letter during the journey and severe snowstorm continuously delays his train for several hours as the two finally meet and share their first kiss Takaki realizes that they will never be together again. Stranded in a shed due to the snowstorm, they fall asleep after taking, talking late into the night. Takaki departs from the train sta station the next morning, and the two promise to continue riding to each other. As the train rolls away, Takaki... Aki Takaki decides that the loss of his letter is not important anymore after the kiss while Akari silently looks at her own letter addressed to Takaki when she decided not to give him 
1999, Takaki is now in the third year of senior high in Tanagashima, where he, the Tanigashima Space Center is located. Kanane, Kanane Sumida, a classmate of Takaki, has been in love with him ever since meeting him in middle school, but has never had the courage to confess her feelings. She tries to spend time with him, waiting long after school for the chance to travel home together. However, Takaki appears ignorant to Kanane's feelings and only treats her as a good friend. Kanane observes that Takaki is always writing emails to someone or staring off into the distance. As if searching something far away, it is letter shown Takaki's emails are not being sent to anyone. And he, in fact, deletes them after he finishes writing them. He also has recurring dreams which feature Akari after a failed attempt to tell Takaki she loves him. Kanane realizes he is looking for something far beyond what she can offer and decides not to say anything, though she believes she will always love him. With such thoughts, she cries herself to sleep. In 2008, Takaki is now a programmer in Tokyo. Meanwhile, Akari is preparing to marry another man. Takari still longs for Akari to deter determinant of his lifestyle. He receives a call from his current girlfriend, but does not answer, signifying the relationship's end. Depressed, Takaki quits his job, unable to cope with his feelings for Akari. Akari goes through a box of her old possessions and finds the letter she had written to Ka Takaki many years ago. Takaki finds himself in a convenience store reading a magazine about the decade-long journey of the rocket launched in Episode 2. Cosmonaut Takaki and Akari begin a dual narration both recalling a recent dream. In this dream, they relieve their last meeting in the snow-filled Iwafune and remember the wish to someday watch the cherry blossoms together again. One day, while tank walking down the same road they had while they were children, Takaki and Akari appears to pass and recognize each other at the, the train cross the same place they had promised to watch the cherry blossoms together 13 years ago. Just before Akari moved to Tochigi and opposite sides of the tracks, they stop and begin to look back, but passing trains cut off their view. Takaki wants for the trains to pass and finds that Akari is gone. After a moment, he smiles to himself and continues walking as the cherry blossoms stir in the train's wake. Yeah. Makoto Shinkai had expressed that, unlike his past works that he has worked on, there would be no fantasy or science fiction elements in the film. Instead, the feature film would attempt to present the real world from a different perspective. Shinkai's film gives a realistic view of the struggles many face against time, space, people, and love. The title 5 centimeters per second comes from the speed at which cherry blossoms petals fall, Petals being a metamorphical representation of humans reminiscent of the slowness of life and how people often start together but slowly drift into their separate ways. The movie marks the first time Shinkai has worked closely with the full staff of animators and artists. Yeah. And for the DVD release of the movie anime movie technically um, five centimeters per second the DVD was released in on Ju July 19th in Japan the title was licensed by ADV films and scheduled for a December 2007 release but the release was delayed until March 2008 
The film's Region 2 DVD release was release date was pushed back from March 5th, 4th, 2008 until April 2008. The official Russian release by Ren Renani Media was already in stock in January 2008. And the film is also licensed in Taiwan by ProWare Multimedia International. On July 11th, 80. 2008, ADV announced it that it was discontinued the print of the DVD. Bang Zoom Entertainment really has redubbed the entire film at the request of its original Japanese dist distributor, and the new dub was first streamed via Crunchyroll as part of their Day of Makoto Shinkai on February 28, 2009. On August 13, 2010, Crunchyroll CEO Kun Gao announced plans to release titles on DVD starting with 5 centimeters per second. Bandai Entertainment, or Bandai Entertainment, manufactured and distributed the DVDs, which included the Bang Zoom dub. This version was released on February 22, 2011. And in two and all, all, even in two thousand, and also in two thousand fifteen, Discotech Media release announced it that it had licensed five centimeters per second for a DVD release on June two ooh, that year, and then on February twenty eighth. 2017 for a Blu-ray release. On March 2009, the distribution company Mad Mad Entertainment announced plans to release 5 centimeters per second in Australia. The Blu-ray release version of the film has been released on April 18, 2008 in Japan, while the HD DVD release version of the film has been also been released on April 18, 2008, which is a region free by default. And Natsuki Imai, a ta Japanese television and film director known for her 2007 film Koei Zora, views 5 centimeters per second as a film completely for adults even though it is an anime. The film won at the Lancia Platinum Grand Prize at the Future Film Festival for Best Movie in Animation or Special Effects. It has won the, animated, the award for Best Animated Feature Film at the 2007 Asia Pacific Screen Awards. The limited DVD edition of the film was ranked third on the Tohan Chat Arts between April 18th, 24th, July 2007, while the regular edition of the film was ranked seventh. The film was Japan's fourth most popular Blu ray film in 2008. Shin and M M Mania Entertainment lists five centimeters per second as the best anime, not by Hayao Miyazaki. Japan Times Mark Schilling comments Shinkai saying that he is better than Miyazaki at piercing the veil of the everyday reveal to pick Wagner Evanson a beauty most of us notice only in the rare moments as how you present of how five centimeters per second has visual effects when it has gotten inspiration for the scenery, beautiful scenery of how you see in the film five centimeters per second that's why so that's gonna be it for my anime review on five centimeters per second thank you for watching but for before we go here's my thoughts about five centimeters per second when i first watched five centimeters per second i loved the visual effects and i loved the scenery what you, what i see in five centimeters per second which is very beautiful and aspiring and very inspirational for five centimeters per second which is a lot more different than Hayao Miyazaki because five centimeters per second was directed by Makoto Shinkai that's why hope subscribe for content my anime planet link in the description down below share this video on your Twitter Facebook if you have Twitter and Facebook account and all social media be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking the like button on this video be sure to feel free to in the comments, leave it in the comments in the comment section below if you like in this video as well. Be sure to give subscribe to my channel, RuroniK95. Feel free to join my channel. If you're new to my channel, click on my notifications bell button. Check out my videos that I'm uploading as well. And keep it otaku for my anime review on 5 centimeters per second for today's anime review. This concludes my anime review on 5 centimeters per second. I got one more thing for surprises. Stay tuned for my next anime review, starting with the first Green Jacket series by starting with the first Lupin the Third anime series.
Stay tuned for my next anime review on Lupin the Third Green Jacket anime series, because you won't want to miss it.